the last part of the Film Film Script Discussion for Season 2, Episode 4. We were a little hasty. We were a little hasty. Um, so, because, and the, I'm using the word hasty very specifically, um, because we forgot that we have another scene where we show the Nandor interacting with the Ents and teaching them how to speak. Which, obviously, we don't want to be hasty with, and we want to take our time with. Okay? Um, so, this can be done, I would say, before Finway gets on Island Boat. Okay? Olway has had his, his moment of crisis, and we go into the Nandor, because now we're 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 coming we're coming down, the, which means that we we're going to need to make the 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 leaving the the leaving of the Noldor a little bit more climactic. We need to find a way to make that a little bit more emotionally important. Um, so. Before we get there, all right, or 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 we put the Nandor the the Nandor after the the Nandor and ends after Finway and Boat, which kind of diminishes the irony of what he's saying, but that means that it's not quite as goofy, if you follow, because it might be a little too on the nose. I'm thinking. The other scene we need to work in, if, if we're going to do it, would be a scene with the bad guys. The, the bad guys, yeah, you're right. So Which we would happen... To do that before Finway gets on the boat, we could then go to Finway getting on the boat, and then go back to the Nandor. Okay. okay. So I mean, it's starting to get a little disjointed is, here. I'm not sure that works. Yeah. If we do a bad guy scene, it should be in between the time when... Olway and when Olway is saying is is saying, well, obviously it's the Dark Rider, and Kelleborn's like, no, no, it's not. I was there. This is different. And then we actually show the Dark Rider mm -hmm. again. Okay. And okay. then yes, that's after a good transition. That, right. And then after that, we show the departure of Olway's group. Olway's group. Okay. What do we want to do in the, the bad guy scene? Do we want to establish establish one of, another one of our villains, maybe? Either Drogluin or, or Tevildo? Um, we could. One thing that needs to happen mm -hmm. is that Sauron needs to interact with the captive elves. Yes. And try to convert them to be Melkor's followers. Okay. Because we okay. didn't so see that, that last time. Right. And we need to see that happen. Okay. So, I mean, we can also have an interaction with Droglin or Tavildo, I don't mind, but we need to see Sauron elves. Well, if he's going down into the okay. dungeon, if if Tavildo is the torturer, that kind of it might kind of makes sense that it's Tavildo. Right. Okay. Right. I that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Okay. So, we have Myron going down. We have a conversation of Tavildo, who's been in other scenes before. We just haven't. He just hasn't said anything. Okay, um, and they exchange. Right. They exchange some some words. They're talking about about like what what the results of Tavildo's actions have been. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now is is Myron's line going to be more along the lines of you can up the ante because we need to get results, or is it going to be more like you're pushing them too hard, too fast, you're just breaking them, which is why it's not working? Um, At this point, Sauron should be much more subtle than Tavildo. So right. Tavildo okay. is going to be into pain and torture, and right. Sauron's like, why are you bothering with that? Just trick them. Like, it's so much easier. See? 
he'll go in, play like good cop to, to Vildo's bad cop and right. get results and be like, do it this way. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. I right. think. Okay. It's yeah. it, tricky that way. He, he's more subtle. He's not going to. Yeah. Right. And he's going to be aware and more cognitive that if you kill them with torture, we can't use them anymore. Right. So we're no just going to be <laughs> torture. They're no favorite. good to be dead. Yeah. Yeah. So, something like that. Right. So if we do have an interaction between Myron and um, and one of the captured elves, what does he say to try to convince this prisoner that Melkor is the guy? <laughs> Probably not Melkor is the guy. I, I know. I know. Not that. He would emphasize Melkor's power. Mm hmm Yeah. And also make a point that the Valar don't care about Middle Earth and don't care about the elves. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. So now this is actually this is actually a a torture tactic. Mm -hmm. Right, like they don't care about you. If they cared about you, where are they? <laughs> I yeah. also have seen films in which. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm not saying we have to go full on bridge on the river Kwai with the capture right. elves, but right. The idea that Sauron's going to fail to convert them is probably wrong. Some of them, yes, are going to you know, resist to death and all that. He's going to get some of them. Right. Because yeah. Sauron's really good at this. Yeah. So there's going to be elves who will be enthusiastically on his side if they see something in it for them, if they think that this is the way to salvation and survival. Right. Yeah. Like the whole point of Bridge on the River Kwai is that the, the captured soldier made sure that that bridge got built right. for the enemy. Right. Right. Um, and, like, there's going to be some of those yeah. in these elves. Yeah. Okay. So, do we see him maybe succeeding then? To a point. He's starting to. Yeah. I think so. Even if they're not like chanting Melkor's name at the end of his speech, they should be starting to look kind of convinced. And the actor that we picked for Myron has such a sweet, like... Yeah. He looks so harmless. Like, he yeah. didn't lie to us. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Um, so... And we can have him kind of like come up and like and like wipe off the elf's bloody face and be like, I don't want them to do this to you. I don't want it to be like this. It doesn't have to be like this. You know? Yeah. I'm on your side. The the viewer should realize that Sauron is full out manipulation mode and doesn't right. actually care about the elf. So yes. Right. If he lays it on really thick, that, that right. yeah. fits for our purpose. And and I'll tell you something. If you were in that situation with that much pressure being applied to you, you'd be hard pressed not to buy into this. That's my as, point. Is as ridiculous as it is, as, as it is to us sitting here in well lit rooms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> relatively. Yeah. I speaking. totally see how this works. <laughs> yeah. I, I, well, I'm I'm I'm. I'm explaining it for anybody who might be watching, you know. I mean there we go. No, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's that's actually a little creepy, Marie. Uh, well that actually is works. Whatever you just did works. Um I put the candle in front of me. Nice. Yes, yes. Okay. I maybe should have done that an hour ago. I'm I'm not tough. But yeah, if if I were an elf and Myron with his sweet, like big eyes was being like I just want to help you, and yeah, yeah. It's like, or the cat can torture me for another <laughs> however long. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so should 
Should Tavilda be sitting in the corner watching? Yes. Intimidation. Intimidation. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. eyes can be reflecting, like the creepy thing that cat's eyes do when there's light in their in their eyes. Yeah, I got two yeah. cats. They can I be currently have cats staring at me creepily right now. <laughs> yeah. Or the and thing they do where they stare like over your shoulder in like mm -hmm. terrified and then they run the other way and you look and there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. My dog likes to stare at the floor. Like Aww. there's nothing there. She just looks at it. I, like there's something there in front of her. Um, so anyway. So yeah. And 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 maybe we should have we should have Myron telling it, like kind of like look I'll show you watch this is what I this is this is how it's done right um okay so we go from that to the leaving of always party mm -hmm. we show. Finway, we have to make this the moment when Finway leaves more climactic. There's only so much we mm -hmm. can get by with with just climactic music. I have one last question before we leave the last scene. Yes, yes, yes. Tavilda, Prince of Cats, this is tight. Is he currently like a cat? I, I, I'm just like imagining a really giant house cat. Is that accurate? Is he a, a humanoid? There's no. That there's no. I think we were going for Black Panther saber tooth tiger kind of vibe. Who can yeah. talk? Who does not turn into a person like Theron Gwethel right. does. Right. I don't think no. we're showing him in humanoid form at any point. Right. Okay. I. That's what I was imagining. I just wanted to make sure I was clear okay. on that. Yeah. I think he's uh, I a mean, cat. Although, it, although if, I mean, if he's is he able to use tools? Because that might require a certain amount of anthropomorphization. He has claws. He's good with his claws and his teeth. Okay. And he has servants if he needs someone to pick something up for him. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Um, okay. So, anything else before before we go to, to making Finway departure more epic? Okay. So, we need to make this a bigger deal. Because <laughs> this is now the climax of the episode. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, how, how, how do we do that? Do we, like... I mean, the, the really helpful little ditty that Marie gave me to help me remember who is who with, with Ingwe and Finway and all of our way names, that Finway wants to fix things. What is, right. what is he fixing? What is his deal? Um, I, I don't know. Well, he wants his people to be happy and they're ready to go. Okay. Yeah, I feel, I feel like they should be camped out on the shore. Right, yeah. Like we should see Noldor camp on the shore now, mm -hmm. and then the island comes back. Yeah. Right. Like, when they first when we first open the scene, it's just the people on the shore, no island. And then the island returns, and it's like, okay, it's time to go now. Yep. The boat is here. And that's when he has to make his decision. Okay. Right. Okay. Do we have... And it's a fairly massively large island. Yes. Its arrival will feel momentous and important. If a magic island shows up for you, yeah. you're not going to tell it in a minute. I'll be right there. Right. Does, do we have maybe a moment where he maybe suggests that he's going to stay behind personally? Would that be in keeping with his character so far? If he's going to suggest anything, it would be, why don't we all just wait here until the Teleri okay. come, and then we'll get on the island together. Like, he might be like, right. let's just hang yeah. out and not do anything, because that seems right. more than yeah. like. Right, yeah, okay, all right. Deal with the conflict, I'd be happier. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, so what, um, it's got to be more than, than Muriel just encouraging him and being like, oh, it's going to be okay. Like, it's got to be something a little bit more than, than that now to get him okay. to leave. All right, so the island shows up. Right. And everyone's like, all right, time to go. And Finway's like, no, no, but we're not all here yet. 
And then so he gets a little panicky. And so he might start running around saying, have there been any reports? Have we had any yeah. contact yeah. from the Tulare? Do we know where they are? How many, how, how long it will be for them to get here? Not how many days behind are they? No days. Um, yeah. But you know, so he starts doing that like practical thing of, oh no, no, we just have to wait for them. And right. somewhere in all of it, there's been no news. They don't know how long it'll be. The island is here waiting. Everyone's ready to go. And he finally has to realize. And that's when Muriel will talk to him and say, hey, I, I know you wanted to wait for them, but like, they'll be on the next, you know, they'll be on the next one. Let's just go now. Right. Yeah. OK. Because I mean, they know that the island isn't just like a one shot deal. It'll be back, right? I'll get the next one. It'll be fine. Right. People are ready to go now. Right. And so maybe that doesn't mean anything. Okay. And so we have maybe Finway is standing at the at the aft end of this island, like looking out at the <laughs> at the hills behind them as they disappear. Um, uh huh. And then, and then, not, like, what's that? It's not sufficiently epic enough. I, I guess it's gonna have to be. Um, the music is gonna have to it's do all, its job there. Yeah, always group won't be coming to the shore yet. No, like it's not like as soon as the Naldor leave. No, 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 no. The Teleri. No. Yeah, no. So, so there's not gonna be any. There's not gonna be any people he sees. Right. Looking back. Now. He can have the look on his face, and maybe that's when his conversation with Muriel is like, "But what if, what if it takes a long time? What if they're not organized? What if they're right. not ready?" Right. On the boat and leaving, he could be having all these second thoughts. Right. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like Amroth deciding to jump in and swim back to shore when he realizes they left behind. Yeah. Yeah. Like it could be okay. that kind of thing where he kind of like suddenly wants to wait and has this terrible premonition yeah. that it's going to go badly. And she right. tries to reassure him. And then it doesn't look like she's trying to talk him into leaving. She's just trying to reassure right. him for a decision they've already made together. They've already left. Yeah. Why not make him feel better about it? Right. Yeah. right. Okay. So I, I think I like that time for her. So Matan can say something to I, him when he's running around like crazy on the shore right. about yes. something practical like, We I need to go. go. Yeah. I think it's time. Right, right. Okay. All right. Um, Larry earlier, this gives him a chance to say something positive about them. Yeah. Yeah. Like they'll be okay. here. You know they're coming. All right. So then we see the Nandor <laughs> interacting with the Ents. Um. Mm -hmm. Do we see them speaking to each other? Hear them speaking to each other? At this point. So that we can show, because we have to show them teaching them yes. to speak. Yes, I feel like forever again. <laughs> the first meeting should just be all who hum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, we should have Ents making very slow, elvish words. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. like learning what they do. What? They could sing together. They could be singing together. Have like an elvish yeah. and tish. Mm. But this is still yeah. like. Yeah, where, this is the initial stage. So. Yeah. Like, yeah. Th if it's Treebeard, that's fine. But whoever is speaking to Lenway shouldn't really say Lenway's name very well. Mm -hmm. No. Like, call him something that we can tell sounds like Lenway, but isn't. Way. Lenway. <laughs> 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 No, I more meant that um, foreign language speakers tend to either add syllables in or mispronounce certain letters that don't sound right in their language. Right. Like, um, oh, I like, should, yeah, like if when if you say my if a Chinese person says my full name, it's Niku La Su. Sure. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Or if an Ethiopian person says crocodile, it comes out Kurogadai. Right. Yeah. Word anyway. yeah, that's that's how they say the English word for crocodile is crocodile. Yeah. 
Um, okay. Which is hard to recognize. <laughs> Would could we see maybe the the ent wives maybe teaching the uh, the elves how to how to farm or something something similar to that make them a little bit more the, the, agrarian? The, the, the teaching is going both ways. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mhm. So it's beneficial to everybody. Yes. This should be a positive cultures meeting and mingling. Right. Not a, and then everybody dies, which is how they usually go. <laughs> yes. yes. I'm sorry. That's what I like, 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 when, it's, uh, like when the Sindar and elves meet the meet the dwarves. Yeah, the petty dwarves. They just you know kill them. Yeah. That's so sad. It's a, it's pretty sad. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. so we see that. Then we see the shot of Thingol and Melian. Okay, we have eight minutes to work on the frame. Go. Um, shoot. Oh. So, what's the overall theme of this episode that we need to get into the frame? People being separated. People finding where they belong. Yeah. I don't think we're so, going to be able to do it. <laughs> I think we should return to the idea of Arwen's mother. Okay. Like yeah. we need to somehow bring Calabrian in at this point, because yeah. Arwen's separation from Calabrian is a big deal. Are we going to reveal that Calabrian's not really dead? You know, he, what I think would be interesting is if we open the episode that we, we actually take the opportunity, I know you want to use this sparingly, but we take the opportunity to use the mirror and for the mirror to show Arwen the rescue of Calabrian. That's what I am thinking I would like to see here. Okay. Okay. Good, um, we left we left it in the first episode. Calabrian was dragged away by orcs and right. never seen again. Yes. And we know that Arwen misses her, so it must have ended badly. Right. If we show her rescue, it will make the viewers be like, wait, you mean she didn't get killed then? Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, what happened? So yeah. the rescue shows that there's more to the story, and then we can develop that in future episodes. Right. So I'm okay with that. I think that's a positive thing. It also introduces the twins because they're in the rescue. Yay. Well, we, the we started rescue. introducing them in the last one too, but it will, we the, a lot what of I this is fallible. Yeah. But it'll, the point it'll, is that it'll scene, there. The twins are yeah. yeah, okay. The twins are in it, regardless of when that yes. we're introducing them. Yes, okay. Um, it uses the twins, and yes. that's good. Yeah. Yes. So um, after we've seen separations throughout the course of the episode. Do we want to book... Is this a bookend thing with the frame? Where we show well, the mirror scene in the beginning, like full episode, then something at the end? Well, I feel like we need to have Kelleborn involved because he's... he Again, he's there. And he's... Yes. He has a, he has a role in the story again. Um, yeah, he's actively involved in the story. Yeah. So maybe he can... Like have a brief conversation with Arwen. You know, what did you see? She t she tells him, but it didn't do anything for her, as the mirror so rarely does. The mirror doesn't usually make anybody feel any better. Right. And she could say something like that. Of I thought I would understand if I saw what. Right what kind of pain she was in, but right. I don't. And, you know, something like where she's a little surprised that, because she wasn't the one who was there to rescue her mom. She wasn't part right. of it. Right. So this is kind of new to her. Yes. And she might have thought that that knowledge would help, but it, right. it doesn't change anything. So, so we're, I mean, are we, we making the case that the mirror does not necessarily just show people random things, whatever it wants? Well, it could, I mean, you said she's talking to Kelleborn afterwards. So right. she's like, seeing right. this, I would have thought that that would help, but it doesn't. Right, yeah. okay, all right. So, so we, don't, we don't pretend that she directed Namir to look at that, okay. uh, although she might have. I mean. Well, it's possible that if you have sufficient power and, you know, and will, that you might be able to do that. Yeah, or I Whatever's mean, on Galadriel's okay. mind. If she goes to the mirror with her mom in her head and wanting to understand, and this is what she sees... Yeah. It, whether or not she directed it to show her that she was looking right. for something. Um, okay. Considering how 
fluid the fr the frame is going to be, I think we can kind of like take that idea to to the boards and kind of work that out. I don't want to go too deep into it and just to have everything we talk about wrecked. Yeah. Um, I mean, okay. we can put all those ideas on the thread and then have it right. brought up at the next session. I'm not saying yeah. we can't defend these ideas. I just right, right. Next week, so. Or so maybe yeah. maybe what we can do is we can we can put the sequence that we've come up with on the thread, or I can do that. I'm perfectly capable of doing that. Um, just not right the second. Um, and all right, is there anything else that we want to discuss? Yeah in the next three minutes. I am good. We came to a good sort of... Yeah, I know you okay. have to get going, so, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Awesome. This has been the Still Film Project Script Discussion Season 2, Episode 4. We did it. Yay. We got it through within a time limit. It's amazing. All right, if you're watching this on on YouTube Live, have a great night. If you're watching this after the fact, uh, definitely like and share the videos if you if you like and want to share them. Um, definitely comment if you have anything that you want uh, that you want to bring up to us. And if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe. Have a great night, everybody. <laughs>